Hi love, so in this video I want to talk about the two magical times in a day that you should manifest because you are going to get your manifestations very quickly, all right? The most powerful time to manifest is when you wake up, and I'm talking about not 40 minutes later when you've already brushed your teeth and all that, and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you first wake up. That is a very powerful time to manifest. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Second time is not right before bed because I feel like people get that mixed up. They think, oh, this is a chore. I'm going to clean the kitchen before I get into bed. I'm not talking about that. When you are in a drift state, when you are laying down in bed and you can tell, I'm getting tired. I'm getting sleepy. My eyes are closing right now. Like I'm, I'm almost there second powerful time to manifest and the reason i say this is because first of all you will have no resistance because number one if you do this in the morning you won't have any room for resistance because you have so much to do already you got to get up you got to brush your teeth you probably have to go to work you probably got to take care of your animals you got to feed you got to water you got to clean you got to cook life is life you're going to get into lifing immediately right your brain's going to be in 40 other places you don't have time for resistance. Number two is when you go to bed, even if you did have resistance throughout the day, doesn't matter. If you're doing it before you go to bed, you're gonna be going to sleep for eight hours, six hours, five hours, whatever's your regular, and there's no room for resistance because you're asleep. How are you gonna resist in your sleep? How are you gonna be doubtful in your sleep? Exactly. So the reason these two times are important, that is why. How do you use it to your advantage? When you're waking up in the morning, you're like already going to feel at peace. There's not a lot of people who wake up angry, right? You don't say you're angry or you got out of the bed on the wrong side of the bed until you actually get out of the bed. You know where I'm coming from? So when you're first waking up, you're giving your subconscious brain an opportunity to focus on something. And I know you've probably heard people say, don't get on your phone when you wake up first thing in the morning because you're soaking in whatever energy you're reading or watching or whatever. That is very true. If you wake up in the morning and instead of getting on your phone seeing who texted you, who didn't text you, who contacted you, who didn't contact you, you should just stay in a place that you want to be. Okay, and how you do that is by looping something in your subconscious mind. And that something could be anything. It could be an item, an object, a place, a person, an event. Okay, give yourself about one to five minutes to just think about that, to loop that in your mind. And you don't have to do it for five minutes. There's no right or wrong. You could do it for a long time. You could do it for a short amount of time. The idea is you're waking up automatically getting your brain on what it is that you desire so for example millionaires they probably go to sleep thinking about money waking up thinking about money and i i say money in the concept of ideas for them it's ideas what else can i do that will benefit what else can i do that will benefit right and so it's the same concept if you're trying to manifest money then maybe instead of just thinking about the cash the individual cash maybe you should loop in your mind what you want from the money do you want a brand new house? Then what does that brand new house look like? You don't have to get into specifics and details. Just get one image in your head. One image of a room in the house, the kitchen, the bedroom, doesn't matter. And focus on that. Loop it in your brain. I'm doing that right now while I'm talking to you guys. Loop it in your brain. Loop it in your brain. Continue to look at what that looks like for you. You want a car? Continue to look at it in your brain. Okay? When you first wake up. Same thing when you go to sleep. The thing about when you go to sleep is that when you're in that state, there's a lot of things you can do. You can write these affirmations down before bed, right before you're about to pass out. You can put them on your phone because most people are on their phone at night anyway. And you can affirm this right before you literally, you know, or like we did in the morning, loop it in your brain. If you can get your brain to focus on one thing, like a room in your dream house, or the car, what the inside of it looks like. Not always the outside that matters, it's what the inside looks like, you know? That picture image in your brain that just keeps going on a loop, you know? The number that you wanna see in your bank account, $4 million. 
three million dollars loop it in your brain don't think about how why and you don't even have room for that when you're getting ready to go to bed because you're tired so if you're just looking at the image of three million dollars and that doesn't have to be a bag of cash it doesn't have to be no the number of three million you don't even have to have the image of the bank account or the checking account when you check it doesn't matter you know what three million looks like because you wrote it down before you know what the number looks like think of that image and keep on looping it in your mind I'm telling you guys, if you guys try this, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's going to work. You're going to thank me later. They're the best times to manifest. And I promise you, it doesn't matter how you feel or what your day consisted of. It's going to work. Let me know if this guy, you know, helps you guys. And if you like my channel and you made it this far, like the video, sub to the channel. And if you guys are reoccurring viewers, I just hope you guys know I love you so much. You guys should check out the links on my channel. And, uh... I think I'll have them in the description below so you guys can follow me on my socials and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Sending you guys lots of virtual hugs.